What's going on, guys? It is time to get back to something we all been waiting for. It just so happens that that's what happened, but it is what it is. We're about to watch one something that I've been anticipating to watch, to be honest. Deku and Bakugo versus All Might. We want to see this fight, not necessarily because of how flashy it's probably going to be, but what this is going to mean, in my opinion, because you know Bakugo is going to try to prove himself. You know, Deku is probably going to want to use strategy. He probably doesn't want to fight his mentor. So we're going to see how that dynamic plays out. I don't think All Might is going to go easy on him. Because one of the things that I admire about All Might is the fact that he is he's a very good teacher of um no matter what he might say because maybe Gran Torino maybe he maybe Gran Torino was a better teacher than he is but I still think that the way how All Might teaches is still a good way to teach people and to help them to learn lessons along the way he might hesitate to do certain things because he you know he has a certain feelings towards Deku but at the same time I still admire the lessons that he teaches through actions when it comes on to All Might so we're hyped to see this I know that you are hyped you probably clicked away from the video already but we're gonna jump into this and I'll see you guys for the review All right, so episodes, what, 37 through 40? Great. It was great. Most hype moments, Bakugo and Deku versus uh, Might. Of course, that fight was, wasn't was necessarily a fight. It was a lesson. It was a lesson for, for Deku, for Bakugo, and also All Might learning a little bit more about who Bakugo is. And I gained a lot of respect for Bakugo. I'm not going to lie. I gained a lot of respect for him during that fight. And it just proves to me more that he just says things. He's a he's an egomaniac, but at the same but at the same time, the the, the thing about him is, is that he likes to talk about I'm gonna kill you and this and that. And the thing about it is that he says that stuff to motivate himself. You get what I'm saying? It's not necessarily that he actually means it. It's just he says that to um, to kind of elevate and motivate himself past the fact of needing anyone. But at the same time, he is going to realize that you need people. It's not just about you. Deku knows that. He he the, learned that the hard way. And also Todoroki has learned that he's coming into his own becoming you know what i'm saying right now he's my favorite character in the series i'm not going to lie he had a he has a bomb ass bo backstory i love his backstory um and i in my opinion he rivals deku as the main character in the story and i know a lot of you guys might disagree you know what i'm saying um i i know that a lot of people are big fans of todoroki of course but to me, if I should say between him and Deku, number one and number two, not as hero status, you know what I'm saying? But as my favorite characters in the show, I'm going to go Todoroki, then Deku, and then um, Bakugo is, is a strong third. You know what I'm saying? So that's my opinion. I have the thing about it is like I love All Might and the reason why I'm not putting All Might as a in a best category best character situation right now as in who I love the most is because I have him as the utmost you get what I'm saying like that's why I don't want to compare him to anybody because if you're going to really put it on a tier list All Might is going to come out on top every time because he has done no wrong yet <laughs> you get what I'm saying he's just he's just that good every time he comes on screen he takes over the show and that's the reason why I'm not putting him in there. It's kind of like how I judge when it comes on to Naruto and, and, and other series that I watch. I just hold Naruto in a higher regard. So I don't put Naruto on list because Naruto is what I grew up with. A lot of people grew up with DBZ. 
You get what I'm saying? Like, not to say that I didn't watch Dragon Ball Z, but I watched Dragon Ball Z when it was over, when it was done with. So I didn't know what the hype was about. I played, I even played Dragon Ball um, Z Budokai before I actually watched the show because we never had, back home, we never had access to watch Dragon Ball. We just played the games that were on PS2. You know what I'm saying? We just played the games. So I knew about, I, I, I knew about, Goku, Vegeta, you know what I'm saying? Like, I loved Vegeta before I even watched the show because I played in the game. He was my favorite character to use in the game. So I loved him before, and I loved him even more when I learned about who he was and how he became friends with Goku and all this other stuff. Made me love him even more. But as I said, Naruto meant a lot more to me because I actually, you know, um, I didn't get into Naruto after it was over. A lot of people who, who are binge watching Naruto right now is very few of them that will look at you and be like, yo, this is my favorite anime of all times based on the lessons that you learn and stuff like that. It's very few of them that will tell you that it's not a lot. You get what I'm saying? Because you're getting the binge experience. And I think people who, who watched it on a weekly basis, it means a lot more to them. Just like how you can't you can't tell Z DBZ fans that they don't have the greatest anime franchise of all times. Okay. But you, you know, you talk about one piece and all of these other stories that, are, you know, one piece is still ongoing. Um, and as I said, I just take Naruto off those lists because Naruto just means so much to me. I've learned so much from Naruto. There's still, I mean, no matter how many times I watch certain parts of Naruto, I still tear up. So it's like, those lessons are always going to mean much to me. There's, there's stuff that I, that I think for me, when it comes to DBZ, I think when it comes to, um, when it comes to DBZ, there's certain places in the anime that I, I can't rewatch. Like I, I just can't rewatch it. You get what I'm saying? Like it's hyped moments in Dragon Ball Z that I really, really loved. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I think the reason why I don't necessarily like certain things about Dragon Ball Z is because the story is so weird to me where I, I think in, in some aspects, I do believe that Gohan should have became the main character in the story because they built him up so much during the Cell Saga. And then they just like, okay that's it we're done <laughs> you know what i'm saying so it's it's crazy it never stuck with me it never was good with me that they did that don't get me wrong i still enjoy watching dragon ball it's just the story aspect of it just goes out the window now so it's just when it comes back i heard dragon ball super is coming back so i will be watching of course but when it comes on to my hero you know what i'm saying um as i said it's it's kind of like those lists. I can't put All Might on that list because anybody you ask, they're probably going to say All Might is their favorite character. It's very few people who's going to say he's not. You get what I'm saying? Because they give him a lot. He gets a lot of screen time, right? He's kind of like the rival main character of the story, rivaling him with Deku. And we know that this is Deku's story. He gets most of the screen time. But anytime All Might is on screen, you're like this. What is he going to say? <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because it's either going to be something funny or something really serious. So you're always paying attention to what he say. We know that he's Deku's mentor also. So for me, as I said, Todoroki is my personal favorite character in the series right now. His backstory is very dope. Deku is a strong second because I love, I love his story. I love what he's going through. I love what he has to learn to get to that level that he's saying he's at. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of him, of course, but I still want to see an all out fight with Todoroki. Cause I think if that do, if Todoroki goes all out, I don't think Bakugo stands a chance. I really do think Todoroki could wipe the floor with him. If he really goes all out, because I think Todoroki, he just stands tall. He reminds me, as I said before, he reminds me of Neji. Neji is just that character where yes, you'll beat him, you get what I'm saying? Remember when Naruto beat him, but that's when he, not when he's serious. You know what I'm saying? Remember when he fought Kid Kitamaru, almost died. He showed something there, and it's it, because of the change 
that happen. You get what I'm saying? So now that Todoroki has gone through that kind of change, you get what I'm saying? Now I want to see him go all out, go all out now in a in a fight. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a fight to the death where you know there's nobody coming to help, just him one on one. I want to see that him against a villain all out fight a nice three four episodes going you know what i'm saying so i want to see something like that for him i also want to see that for bakugo too want to see that um for deku want to see that for Ida. i want all of these main guys to get their spotlight in the series you know what i'm saying all of these U ua guys there's certain people i don't really want to see fight i don't want to see naval naval laser <laughs> naval laser guy i don't want to see him fight why would i want to see him fight i don't want to see him fight he he got nothing he got, I don't even know how he got into 1A. He's a class B guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's at the bottom of the list. I, you know what I'm saying? I would love to see Momo go all out too. She's best girl, of course. She's my girl in the series. I, I like her. Um, Uraraka, she's in love with Deku. Her power, hopefully she gets great at it because she should i think in some ways she should be able to use her powers so she'll be able to fly or float at least so it's kind of weird sometimes i wonder sometimes why she doesn't use her power on herself i don't know if she can maybe she can't who knows but anyways i'm looking forward to seeing what this series has to offer man um these four episodes were fun they were fun to watch and i'm looking forward to see how they're going to improve their quirks but anyways, guys, thank you guys for tuning in. As always, you guys are welcome. We are back and we are reacting. So anyways, leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe if you're new. And we out here. Peace.